God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Monday, March 14th. Today's devotional is based on the book of Genesis, chapter 9, verses 8 to 17. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, As for me, I am establishing my covenant with you and with your descendants after you, and with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the domestic animals, and every animal of the earth with you, as many as came out of the ark. I establish my covenant with you, that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of a flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. God said, This is the sign of the covenant that I will make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I have set my bow in the clouds, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth and a bow is seen in the clouds, I will remember my covenant that is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. When the bow is in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living thing of all flesh that is on the earth. God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant that I have established between me and all flesh that is on the earth. So, today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Diane Burgant. The biblical flood narrative is not merely a story of the return to primordial chaos. It also contains a story of deliverance and of relationship with God. God directed Noah, the only one who found favor with the Lord, to build an ark so that he and his family and some animals might escape the punishing waters of the flood. From this small community, God then fashioned a new human family and established a covenant with that family and with the world as a whole. This is a story of deliverance and new beginnings. And we're left with this question today. Where and with whom is God's covenant making needed today? Let us pray. God of creation, As I move more deeply into each day of Lent, remind me of my own experiences of deliverance and the new beginnings you always provide. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, whenever that may be, I pray that you remain safe and healthy, that you're practicing social distancing, that you're wearing a mask when you're out in public, and that you're frequently washing your hands. God bless.